subtracting rational numbers. Okay. Now, the thing to know is when you're subtracting rational numbers, it's the same thing as subtracting integers. The rules are the same. And in this example, we have uh, the temperature uh, of an outdoor th thermometer was 5.5 degrees. And I'm going to show you 5.5 right here. And uh, on the next day, on Thursday, or it's not the Thursday, next day, Thursday, it was 7.5, 7.25 degrees less. So it dropped 7.25 degrees. And let's show this on a number line, 5.5 right here, dropping 7.25. That means we're going to move to the left 7.25. And we end up on this, it looks like 1.75, I believe. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, negative 1.75. That's negative 1.75 is this part right here. So the temperature was negative 1.75 degrees centigrade. Okay, so use a number line for these. We would start at negative 6.5 and we would move to the left on the number line two spaces. It looks like this. Negative, one point, uh, six, negative 6.5 and dropping two, so going to the left, two. You're, you end up on eight, negative 8.5. On this one here, on number two, you start at one and a half and you move to the left two spaces on the number line. So this is negative, uh, oh, not negative, this is one and a half. So one and one half right there, and then you move to the left two, so here's moving one, and then this is moving two. And you end up on, what, that's negative one half right there? And there you go. And then uh, on this one, you start at negative 2.25, and you move to the left five and a half spaces on the number line. So there you go. And you end up on negative 7.75. That's this uh, right here, negative 7.75. Okay. Subtracting negative rational numbers move in the opposite direction on the number line. So, in our example here, uh, during the hottest week of the summer, the water level of the river was five, six foot below normal. That sounds like a negative to me. And the following week, the level was one third foot below normal. So what's the overall change? Well, five, six foot, that's below, that's okay. And one third foot below, that's negative, all right? And what's the difference? That word difference right here, is that subtraction right there. So we have to subtract these two. Now, we start at negative one-third, and we have that here. Uh, but if we were to subtract a five-six, if, if, if I have negative one-third minus five-six, I would be moving this direction, because that's what we were just doing. But since I'm moving in a, uh, minus in a uh, you know negative minus negative i have to move in this direction then i'm moving in the opposite direction that's what they're saying up here you move in the, that opposite direction that you would when you're subtracting a negative so what we do is we're moving to the right because we're subtracting the negative and the result is one half so there's one there's one and this is one half so the water changed by a half foot. Um, okay, so you're not going to be working with other students on this one, but let's think about this here. Work with other students to compare addition of negative numbers on a number line and subtraction of negative numbers on a number. So the addition of negative numbers. When you're adding a negative number, you're moving to the left on the number line. And when you're subtracting, so that's uh, left. And when you are subtracting a negative, you have to move in the opposite direction. You move to the right. And that's what we're going to say here. Uh, when adding negative number, move to the left on the number line. When subtracting a negative number, move to the right on the number line. Okay, compare these methods that we used in example one and example two. So uh, in example one, we move to the left because we're subtracting a positive. And in example two, we move to the right because we're subtracting a negative. That's going back to number four on the reflection right here. Okay, so 
Uh, in this, use a number line to find the difference. Uh, we would start at 0.25. So let's see, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 is right there. And we're going to subtract a negative, which means we're going to go to the right. So we're going here and we got to go to the right, right there, one and a half spaces. So it looks like this. We're going to go one and a half. So one would be right here. This is one full uh, space moving. And then a half would give us that extra. This is that half right there. And this is 1.25. This is 1.5. This is 1.75 right there. And there you go. Uh, so on this one, we have to start at... Uh, uh, number seven, we have to start at negative one half, and we're going to end up moving to the right three fourths of the space. So we have uh, one, negative one half. This is negative one half right here, and we move to the right three fourths. So this is this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths right there, and what? That's um, one fourth on the number line. Adding the opposite. Joe is diving two and a half feet below sea level. Okay, that sounds like a negative right there. And he's gonna descend, which is, uh, he's gonna go down further. So how many feet below sea level is he? He's gonna be even farther below sea level. Negative numbers represent below sea level. Okay, so there's our two and a half right there, negative, and then he descends further. So you're gonna start at negative two and a half right here and you have to go down seven and a half so this whole thing is seven and a half right there in that direction and what we do is we end up on 10 so we're going to be moving to the left we see that and because you're subtracting a positive number the result is negative 10 so this is our result right there that's where we end up so he's 10 feet below sea level and compare so let's look at this here. This is an important thing. This right here and this. They both have the same answer. If you subtract 3.5 minus 5.8, that's the same thing as negative 3.5 plus a negative 5.8. They both have an answer of negative 9.3. And so uh, we're going to work here. <laughs> work with you right now to explain how to change the subtraction problem into an addition problem. You change the minus sign to a plus sign. So if I have uh, six, uh, well, let's look at this. Let's go uh, six minus three. You know that six minus three is three. Okay. That's so I could also call this six plus eight negative three. And I'm putting that in parentheses. So the uh, this right here is the operation, and this is the sign. And to separate the operation and the sign, I have parentheses. So that's what's happening here. This is what's called adding the opposite. That's a main idea. So to subtract a number, we have you have some kind of symbol, P minus Q. That's the same thing as P plus the opposite of Q, or P plus a negative Q. Same thing. Okay, find the distance between two numbers. A cave explorer climbed an elevation of negative 10 meters. Okay, to an elevation of negative 5 meters. So it looks like he went up. What is the distance he climbed? There are two ways of looking at vertical distance. Uh, we'll start. He started at negative 11, and you count five units on the vertical line up to negative 5. So the explorer, he climbed six meters. That means the vertical distance between negative five and uh, negative, negative 11, negative five is six meters. So we have this. And he started at negative 11 right here and he climbed up to negative five right there. And this is a total of six. So you can also find the difference between the two elevations and use the absolute value to find the distance. So negative five minus neg uh, negative eleven minus negative five is negative six, and take the absolute value of that difference because the distance traveled is always a non-negative or distance traveled is always positive, and this means absolute value right here. 
it's the distance to zero. So uh, it always, the point of it is it always comes out negative and the vertical distance is simply six meters. Doesn't matter which way you subtract the values when finding distance. No, because no matter which way you go, that distance is always going to be positive. You can't go a negative distance. Uh, negative uh, would, be, would be a direction, not a distance. Would you use the same methods for working? Uh, uh, would the same methods work for both numbers positive? What if they were uh, positive and the other was negative? Well, uh, yeah, because you take the absolute value of that difference. Okay, and the distance between do two numbers, it doesn't matter. You, If you want the distance between A and B, you could take the absolute value and you could subtract them, or you can take B minus A. It won't matter because the answer is always going to come out positive.